How's everyone doing again? This video here I'm going to explain basically what I believe and what I use on my systems it is one of the easiest ways to simply maintain your computer. Now I used to be really critical with my systems in terms of how I tweak the operating system and be on top of the maintenance but more so recently since it's unnecessary and it's a waste of time I think uh, I sort of toned it down a bit. Now what I use for maintenance here, what I believe is so simple, is uh, the program called CCleaner. I'm sure everyone uses it by now, but just in case you don't, here it is. Now this program here is pretty comprehensive in terms of it really covers everything. You're cleaning up files, Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer system, and on this category here, advanced, like prefetch, the environment path, tray notification, menu order, and any custom files, folders, and assistance history in any other directories really. You can also uh, clean up programs as well, applications, you know, office, torrent programs, utilities, windows, pretty much anywhere where there could be junk or unneeded files on your system, it'll clean it up. Now, if you don't really want to go ahead and delete everything, you can click Analyze here, and it will basically scan uh, all the files that you've selected on the directory on the left. Here it completed the analysis. It took 8.8 .8 seconds, and there's 25.2 megabytes that can be removed, and that's the approximate size. There you can see Internet Explorer. I don't know how well you can see it because I'm just recording with an iPhone 4S. Uh, there's utilities, search, log files, just general. The next category on the side is registry. <clears throat> I'll get into that in a second. So after you run your analysis, if you want to just go ahead and run the cleaner, just click run cleaner and it will remove the files. That's just the basic way of doing it. And there, there's 31.2 megabytes to be removed as before it was just a general analysis. Now registry you click this and there's you have all your options for your registry old services, sound events, type libraries, applications, fonts all that fun stuff. This time you can't just simply fix the issue you have to scan and here it'll complete the scan of your registry and then you can choose to fix selected issues it will give you the option to back up your changes to the registry in case there's any errors and you can then fix your issue or issues I've seen on systems where there's been complete pages of you know, old directories within the registry that need to be removed and you also have your tools you can uninstall programs rename the entries search them, save them to text files it's good for moving junk startup here's all your startup applications if you wanna you know just cut everything down you select everything disable that and then you know go ahead and re-enable whatever you need here you can also delete entries here as well I don't recommend deleting them unless you really remove them off your system first Internet Explorer you know, your startups add-ons, all that. Schedule tasks. Here's a C cleaner. Basically on startup. Context menu. You can clean up restore points and drive wiper. This is where you can clean the free space on your drives. And on the options here, I'm not really going to get into this. If you decide to download the program, you can search from there and go your own direction. The next program I use is the Defragler. Basically I run a schedule on a weekly basis. From what I remember it's every Sunday it'll run a full defragmentation of my main drive on the system. Here you get your overview. It does the disk health. It does use Smart. So it'll tell you ahead of time if there's any problems with your drive. 
and again your overview of your capacity and used and free space here this is a 640 gig drive and I have 339 gigabytes free and you get your nice little block image here of all the sectors on your drive if you want to just run the defragmenter you can click here quick defrag or full analyze again you go to your settings and you can set a schedule for the drive I actually don't seem to have one this is a new install but I usually run it every Sunday a full defragmentation sometime in the middle of the night here you can pick your calendar when to start it so if I were to start it on Sunday I click the 16th at say 2 a.m. and every corresponding Sunday you can also view other drives this one here is my backup drive it's the one terabyte and here you have all your advanced settings you can check your drive for errors it's useful so that's just a general view of that as well so CCleaner and Defragler both in pure form they're not programs where you know you're tricked into buying them and then you have to subscribe or renew it every year or every month they're free programs you can choose the more higher end ones for a fee but for the most part that's not necessary one other thing I use for backup I haven't really established it like I used to I used to have it manage my whole network for backups onto the one terabyte but that would be Cobian Cobian backup here I'm just starting the, the user interface it's a program that I basically run as a service it starts up before the user account logs in and it runs as a service in the background the whole time the system is running and it has access to my home network all the systems on it here's your interface this is a whole other program it really is night and day compared to what I intend this video to be so I'll just give a general overview here you have these tasks this one here is AL 132102C which is the name of my computer <coughs> it's an e-machine system and here you can see the size of the backup 224 gigabytes so I set this up to run daily if I'm not mistaken I haven't checked this again in a while I'll just look at the settings for it so here's the task uh, it's not in a group that's just sort of like a recognition what do you want to denote them as it is uh, enabled I include all the subdirectories of the file it's incremental <coughs> so when it's set up on here it'll make one full backup of the entire drive all the files I've selected and then from here on out it will only backup the files that have been modified since the last backup now you do have the option to set full backups differential or dummies other than that it's quite simple you select the the source directory you want to use in this case it's my whole user file and the destination is on my backup drive slash the computer name now you can have multiple sources and multiple destinations again that's a whole other thing scheduling daily at one o'clock a.m. here you can tweak it dynamics you know priority of the process if you're running in the middle of the night and you're not doing anything on the system you know there's really a lot of leniency on here if you choose archive you can compress the backups filter it's where you can exclude the files you know crap you don't want to download or I mean backup just junk say your app data file a lot of the things on there I don't need so I choose to filter that out on my last system again it's not filtered on here events pre-backup post backup you can add 
in different instances there you know run this program do this or that and advanced this is where you can run it as an administrator another user I'd recommend using like the generic options for the whole program this is where you're gonna access the network and everything the engine is something you have to set up it's very simple when you download the program that's the the number one problem I'll explain this you need to set up the engine to run as its own user or the administrator and give it the network permissions and then you'll be good to go otherwise it'll say engines not found and you won't be doing any backing up with that program so that's it basically if you follow that procedure it's very simple very low maintenance because I don't like wasting time on this sort of thing anymore uh, you should be good to go one other thing I do in terms of hardware every I'd say three months or so take your computer open it up and take either an air compressor or a balloon pump or something don't use a vacuum and blow all the dust and dirt out of the heat sink the power supply any air ducts or fans that's another thing that will prolong the hardware especially if you have an aftermarket graphics card as those tend to get quite dirty with dust and overheat and there's just a whole bunch of problems that arise from that so pretty much just follow that procedure and you should be trouble free for a while thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or send me a message I'll be sure to answer them and thanks for watching make sure to check back for more